I wanna talk about some next generation gaming laptops. So every few years, the stars line up just perfectly. So you have new CPUs and new GPUs at the same time. And this is one of those years. So we have new CPUs from Intel, as well as new CPUs from AMD. Both look really promising, but also new GPUs from Nvidia and AMD all for laptops. On years like this, when everything's new, it's like a really good time to buy stuff. Usually, we'll get into that. But a bunch of leaks have pointed towards a flagship NVIDIA product at the top end for laptops that is supposed to be phenomenal on performance, like stuff we have never seen before in the laptop space. And it's gonna be called like a 4090 or maybe a 4080 Ti for the mobile segment, but check this out. On desktops, we have the 4090 and 4080 GPUs that are ridiculously fast. Like these are legitimately 80 to 100% faster than previous generation. They are horribly expensive, like truly nasty, nasty expensive, but the performance bump is real and the power efficiency is way better than the previous generation. And that is what I find most interesting about the 4000 series NVIDIA products. So these things are able to deliver performance that's like realistically about 50% better in terms of performance per watt than the 3000 series stuff. And on a laptop that is truly game changing, that can fundamentally change what people can do with a laptop. So the rumors point to a AD103 based product. So the stuff, the, the chip that's in the RTX 4080 desktop card, that chip being used in a laptop and they're reducing the wattage to like the standard kind of 175 watts for a gaming laptop, right? They're able to pull off desktop 3090 performance in a laptop. Like I gotta let that sink in for a second. That is such a big jump from what we have available right now. Now it's probably gonna be a bigger laptop that can pull this off and it's probably gonna be like $80,000, but desktop 3090 in a laptop. And I imagine that type of power and energy efficiency is gonna trickle down at least to some degree going down to like the 4070 and 4060 laptops. I think this 4000 series lineup is gonna be something very impressive for gaming laptops. And then AMD is also supposed to be coming out with their 7000 series GPUs again desktop 3080 to desktop 3090 performance in a laptop. We'll see. Now, the CPUs are also very interesting. So I'm gonna lead off this thing with a leak that came out for the Razer Blade 18, an 18 inch device from Razer, the purveyor of premium gaming accessories and gaming laptops. They have a 17 inch device that's already quite large, but they apparently have an 18 inch device on deck ready to go. Now, if you look at their current 17 inch Razer Blade, there isn't enough room on the kind of top panel to fit an 18 inch screen. I'm assuming they're going with like a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen. So not this one, like a slightly taller screen. Uh, but even if you stretch it out, I took a measuring tape to this, like you can't fit an 18 inch panel, at least not well on this top panel. So I'm assuming it's like a whole new chassis for them to be able to pull that off. Unless they go with like unprecedentedly thin bezels. Is that even a word? Let's just go with it. An unprecedentedly thin bezel. If they do that, then maybe they could fit in this, but I think it's a whole new chassis. But the thing that was interesting about this leak was that crazy high multi-core score. That 13900HX is a 24 core, 32 thread chip that is being cooled properly, I'm assuming, in a laptop. So like, that is a desktop caliber chip. Like the 13900K from desktop, just detuned a little bit, so lower wattage, lower clock speeds, be able to fit into a laptop. And <laughs> I mean, the performance is unreal. Like if you look at last year's chip, not last year's, but like the current generation, 12900H and 12950HX chips, these are very powerful chips, truly the fastest stuff you can get on the market for laptops. And this new chip beats that top score by 40 or 45%. It's nuts. Like I don't see how they're cooling something like that in a laptop. It is Geekbench, so it's just a short burst of performance, but it's just a crazy high score that just never could have been achieved before in this space. And there's also that leak of the new AMD chip. It's a 12 core chip, so it's gonna be a nice step up compared to anything we've seen from them in the past. And I think there's just gonna be more AMD laptops in general. There's, at this point, they've proven to the world that AMD can deliver really good components in the mobile space, and I mean, that's awesome. But all of this sounds great. Uh, you know, new components, better performance, Everyone's playing in the game, it's good, uh, until you kind of think about the price point of all this stuff. So I'm convinced that at the top end, these devices are gonna be nasty expensive. Like I wouldn't be surprised if that high end, like 
for 4090 laptop and whatever Intel CPU they throw in there, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a $5,000 laptop. Like legit, a legit 5,000 US dollars. Uh, just, I could see it. I can see that price tag just like burning a hole in my eyes. I'm like, how? It, it just kills me, right? Because you have really cool tech from companies that has come down to like, the laptop space and it can be like it can be it, we can do really cool stuff with it well we'll come back to that but it's like it, it kills me now the perspective i have on that is this uh based on history when the 30 series laptops dropped and when the 20 series laptops dropped like when they were announced there's this small window of time right after those products are announced that like the previous generation stuff goes on a pretty aggressive sale. I remember the, uh, it was very noticeable when the 20 series laptops came out and like those 1080 and 1070 laptops were like a thousand bucks, like 1200 bucks for like really good stuff. There is this little window when you can just like pick up the previous generation. And I think when it comes to laptops, like we are dealing with 15 to like maybe 17 inch screens. These aren't giant screens, right? So. I've never seen the appeal of playing at 4K on these relatively small screens. Like I get some people are into it. It's just the image of a 4K image at 17 inches does not look all that different from like a 1440p panel. And if you're playing games at 1440p or 1080p at that screen size, you just don't need crazy hardware. But from the perspective of a technology enthusiast, I think this upcoming year is gonna be one of the best years we've ever had for like impressive gaming laptops. Okay.